I didn't, I didn't think the uncle would actually believe him. But he just reenacted one of their, I don't know, their, like when they were their plays or something. Like, what the fuck are these guys doing the whole time? We have these two kingdoms. This and the empire attacking this fucking middle part. <laughs> then we have this one, uh, Annabella. I think she's the one that's residing here. That's killing you pretty much everybody. Well, all the barriers, but. What the fuck is, what the fuck is Odin doing? knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom, but Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Give me a sec. I must talk to... The person that gave me the Berserker badge. My Berserker ring. How did we never hear about these guardians of the Same way they never heard about... Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Here's everything we've received and everything promised. Such as is the reown of the city of outlaws. That must be my clientele would rather spend their time prating on about your endeavor that's make up any endeavors of their own. For that, I feel owe you at least a portion of my earning, particularly an enormous uh, sword that left a nightstand. May it serve you better than it did to him. All yours. I want to see what more donations I could get. Best of luck out there, Sid. Okay. Uh, here. Hmm. Can really increase attack precision with the each precision dodge. Ah, <sighs> fuck it. Fuck it, I got two purples now. Two purples. I want three purples. I want everything purple, damn it. I got the top row purple. I need the bottom row purple. All right, what's going on with you? Clive! Oh, am I glad to see you? Is something wrong? It's Blackford. He ain't himself. And if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. That normally it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but not this time. Something's getting him down, and whatever it is, he ain't telling. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what'd you say? Sure. I want points. Fine. If you think it will help. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. He'll open up when he's ready. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So, I'll go first, and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. You're missing. There's, is there any new missions? Fancy a look at the list, do you? Here you go. Always oh, they're all here. In there. Good. Good. I, I don't want to go anywhere. Give me a sec. I need to do this mission. You never know. We get like a cutscene like the next it. day. Like the next day, we have more fucking side missions. That monster's taking quite a liking to me. What's going on, man? What's going on? August, and now you. What do you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What'd you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? 
talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Phil shut you up. It's nothing, really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. Now, every time I reach for my hammer, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. Yeah. You happy? You got what you came for. Now, piss off. All right. We're going. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of ale. Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all, a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work, which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. Ah, our blacksmith is kind of jealous with another craftsman who does a better job than him. Oh, he's gonna tell me to feed the, the, the guests or people's? Karen, do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, right, sold it already. Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened to cross him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of summit. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. He doesn't trust hunters, neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working the rides. I see. He did tell me summit though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Here, there's a griffin on the hunt board. The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. Now, where the bleeding hell was excited? Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe? Care Northern, that was it. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. At least you admit it. So. It sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunting to you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Good idea. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. I've been wondering, what the hell is this guy doing the whole time? I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. 
from spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. Ah, <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first tonne of worm I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sterner stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Something tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine, I'll help. Fantastic! Thank you. So, dare I ask what's on the menu? Uh, Chancer's Stew. It was once a favourite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but... Unwanted violets. I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses? Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. I, I hope the griffin's not that hard. I hope. All right. Did I hear you say you were hoping to hunt down the griffin, Koopo? Then do I have the billet for you, Koopo? An especially horrible one. The locals call Dismare or Dasmar. Uh, I don't know. Here we go. While passing along the trail from the lost wing of Kier Norvins, one of our orders were met with a sudden blast of wind so strong that it bent back the trunk of the old oak. And heard a cry of a terrible, a terrible that he ran for his life. Questioning the locals revealed that this area was nesting the place of the elder griffin, known as Dosmar or Dosmare, a beast uh, much hated for his appetite, both from chocobos and for children. Heranovin. Yeah. I'll try to find it. So it has to be somewhere around here. Wait, look up. Okay. Westgate. 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 No, it has to be somewhere around here. Wait, is that the griffin? I think that's the griffin. God damn it. I've been searching all over the place. Never mind, it's not the griffin. Is this the angel of death? I'll run there. I found the wrong one! This isn't gonna be easy. Nice more! The berserker? Holy shit!
your master's power, you silly bitch. This is Griffin. I found the wrong b bastard. Rest well. I know why, Will. Where the fuck is he? Is he like somewhere around here? I check almost, pretty much almost the whole place right here. Maybe I missed something. Griffins don't exactly make for easy prey. Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. All right, I think I found the place. Fuck! It was here the whole time. Ah, uh, where could the Griffin be? We get some stuff here. Potion? I want money. I'll have no use for money. Oh, Straight shit. home now. Damn, level B. You rank B, damn it. Another work will have to wait. Vogel, look sharp. Help me. Fuck. Yeah. That's all ready. Of the wind, damn it.
I started fighting a boss, I had to use all my potion on him. Oh, he's almost dead, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. Can I catch my breath? Damn bastard! Oh, uh, please, that be enough for your level up? No, I got a purple. What it does? Using crafting. Is something that boy?
Could that be our man? Good boy, good boy finding the, the guy <laughs> who I could easily find. <laughs> Are you our man? The one who made our blacksmith all jealous because of your craftsmanship? Are you alright? Yeah. Dare say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker, if you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? <laughs> She's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund? It's not her who sent me. Well, consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art. And not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... Well, actually, I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, you did save my life. And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. I'd say it's the least I can do. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself, that is. But there are rules against it. Secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. I'd be much obliged if you would. Right. I've got some griefs to make. You send your blacksmith my regards. Will do. And thank you. Hopefully this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood. I hope it does. I pretty much have only one potion, damn it. If he gets pissed at me that I'm trying to, like, go in his business. Eh. Let me just finish all the quests. I'm gonna try to finish all the quests that I have right now. This shouldn't be that hard, is it? I mean, I defeated a griffin. This shouldn't be more tougher than a griffin now. In here, there's no, no tough Thank monsters. you for sticking with us. Oh, wait. Uh, can't exactly leave old master alone. We'll buy something here. What are you after? Thanks very much. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. For ten thousand? What the fuck? Pretty well. It's not like there's poison, is it? Here. Have to look after each other, don't? Ah, welcome. Times may be hard, but if you got the gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets, if you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call him that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. When there was a war on, that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. 
Three reeds would be your best bet. Memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Okay. I thought it was actually gonna be a flower, but no, it's a fucking scorpion. The fuck. Damn it. I thought I could teleport there. Ambrosia won't help me here. Don't you Can I jump off? Any trouble now. Yep. Oh, he spawned in front of me. Alright, here we are. Fucking scorpions. Scorpions. At least I know what I'm up against. They're bowling them up. Oh, they're not dead. Holy shit. It's tough. There's gonna be more like you know, like enemy incoming or enemy new enemies appeared or like bullshit. There we go. We got the, the thing we wanted. I better get this back to a phone before it goes bad. <sighs> or any this at least. I have everything I need. Let me go back and talk to the Mughal. I want. No, not the Mughal. The the, the lady. The, with the real, the real uh, points. How may I help you today, Clive? All right. What we got? What we got? It rolls. Christian roll. What the fuck is that? Spend more. Damn it! This looks like the. This looks like the only thing I I pretty much want to get. The other is just this. Eric Medallion, Dire Wolf Jess. Come again. I may have more for ya. The only thing I want is purple, damn it. Are you gonna make that nasty food you're gonna make? Did you find our mystery ingredient? I did indeed. Marvelous! Let's see. <gasps> What am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely. You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. Uh, into the pot it goes, I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. I present... Chances stew, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm, uh, not hungry. Well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. What the salt on the senses is like choking on swamp water. And and yet, up through the pungency there rise complex, meaty notes. It it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavours, but never have I tasted anything so fine. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. I must share this gift. I won't rest until a steaming bowl of Chancer's stew sits before everyone in the hideaway. A single mouthful, and Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm sure she will. I 
think we fucked up. <laughs> I think we fucked up with this. Oh shit. Everybody's gonna blame Clive that he brought poison a poison stew in the highway. That monster's taken quite a liking to Lady Cat. And right. with a bit of luck, Clive might even find the geezer. Bloody busybodies, the both of you. How'd it go, Clive? Did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him. And he asked me to give you this. Along with his regards. You're joking. He said he wouldn't teach you how to work it, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded, you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. Uh, so that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. I wonder it's tough. And that's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. Oh, oh, this is fine work. Even finer than I thought. Yeah? I'll take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Here, Clive. You didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many leather workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting, see? And his name kept cropping up when I was asking around. Turns out, he's from Tabor. And again, most leather workers are. But our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret, the details of which are the subject of some debate in the leather-working community. Then we better keep this close to our chests. <sighs> Listen, sorry for putting the both of you to all that trouble. Should have kept my moaning to myself. Still, I'm glad you found him. This has cheered me right up. That was the idea. Clive's idea, anyway. He did most of the work. It's good to have you back, Blackthorn. Just don't expect me to go turning out work like this. There's a reason he does his own hunting. He knows exactly what hides to look for. And that's how he gets them to layer up so nicely. And don't get me started on how much oiling this leather would need. But I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse breaker will have no trouble caring for. Anyway, enough narrowing. I've got work to be getting on with. Looks like we won't be needing a new blacksmith. As if there was a better one out there. Nah, it wouldn't have been the same anyway. No one spins a yarn like old Black falling in his cups. <laughs> right, now that's sorted. I've got duties to attend to. Thanks, Clive. You've given me my mate back. Here we go, 135. I level up as well. Good. Good. Drake Slayer belt design draft. Oh! Finally, a new belt! New belt I could get. Design draft. You have obtained a design draft of the Drake uh, Slayer belt. Design draft unlocks new craft op option in the black hammer. Place a black thorn in the hideaway and the details in the material requirements. Back, are ya? Right. I'm saying for you, dear. Holy shit! Electrum, what the fuck? Bring me the materials, and I'll think about it. Where the fuck I get the electrum? God damn it. I don't know where to get these. 